everybody. Uh, welcome to more The Last Faith Speedruns. Um, I think they've started to heat up quite a bit as uh, some interesting tech has been found that I probably won't be seeing tonight. Um, simply because I can't get it consistently on the PlayStation 5 yet. It's basically like a one and a half jump, like a high jump uh, that you can buffer with a charge strike. Which be really handy to have for a lot of situations but uh like i said it's just not consistent enough for me to be worth using during not just yet so i guess we'll have to do some more um research into that a little or it'll be readily available uh also there was a problem during the last one actually we recorded like a 2 11 something or something however during the monfred fight my timer was stuck i'm not exactly sure why that happened uh it's been rectified on the speedrun.com leaderboards and also my thumbnails and everything um but yeah the actual time that we got was like a 215 something or other um so you know once you get to the manfred fight you'll probably see a big red split coming up that's actually not true so i will have to go ahead and rectify my sum of bests and whatnot but we did also find a way to completely skip ask mana which is pretty nice so that will save 10 minutes so um now, all that considered, we should get time somewhere between 2 hours and 2 hours, 10 minutes now. Easily. However, uh, I will use the first run today to basically, you know, rectify all that stuff. Um, get back into the route. I also created a map with all the pickups that are noteworthy. So, um, let's see how handy that will be. Once I actually, you know, remember where everything is and whatnot. But, um, yeah. I guess that's enough of the talking done. Let's go ahead and get a run started. <laughs> Um, as always, pick a brawler, uh, because we'll be using the great sword later, or great blade as it's called. So, without further ado, uh, I think I have everything ready, so... Let's get this started in around about 3, 2, 1, go. I haven't played the game in a couple days, so I guess the last one will be somewhat rusty. Hey, that is why we do two per night or so when we can manage, right? The nice thing uh, is with the map, I kind of know which things to pick up now and which not to. The audio level is a little bit too low. I can put up a bit more. Because I changed it when I did uh, Breath of Fire recently. That game was so loud, like holy crap, I have no idea what is wrong with the audio balancing there. Something is definitely not right. Well, I did a bit of a look up into the boss weaknesses and whatnot, and surprisingly few bosses in this game are weak to any element. I think it's like only two bosses with noteworthy uh, weaknesses, which are the Pale Laments against Fire and the Burned Apostate against Frost. Who would have thought? Everybody else is like... Uh... Ah, fucking hell. You bastard. Dude, I jumped. Is that still locked into an animation? Oh, I already passed out health. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the spot. And being a little bit too aggressive there. <clears throat> well, I kept me locked in the uh, sword strike animation. Then with me to getting hit on the noggin. Hmm. 
As do I. Then seek and pray. What would you I have called? There are whispers. I almost forgot about this cutscene. What is ah, this? Ah, this myth. I recall despair. I know. Tell me out of. I cannot. Here, Eric, take this. Forgetting to spell it. No, that was the shard. Oh yeah, the chunks are later. Right. I think I'm risky again. Also, I forgot to mention that the game actually got an update today on PlayStation 5, but uh, I'm not seeing any patch notes anywhere, so I have no idea what they changed. Just have to get back into the menu configure, uh, menu configuration, button configuration, everything. Seems I've lost quite a bit of time, actually. Oh no, wait, I haven't. I'm not gonna wrong. Oh, 
Ow. Like it is a little bit drawing to come back to this after I haven't played a JRPG. <laughs> Grab that one. Challenging part is trying to find a spot where I can go ahead and scroll through my map. <laughs> Sure, what I'm actually gonna use these chunks if I'm honest with you. If I haven't used them at all in any of my runs so far, I'm just picking them up for whatever reason. I'm actually missing that uh, box on my map. It's definitely on there. That's not good. You could say this is actually pretty bad. <laughs> oh, like I said, that's the first one of the evening. I'm not gonna reset this. I was trying to play it a little bit too cheeky on the uh, electrocuted floors there. Though so I am curious where that third hit came from. Because I'm pretty sure I wasn't standing. Oh, maybe I was just having my pinky in that electric puddle or something. Also, we can still save time here because even though I died, remember that we did have the uh, soft lock in this very area last time. So I had to do all of this and then some again. Interesting to see that this area, the one that I'm having so much problem with. Also, I'm not sure if I need these bits still. It's probably not. It's just trash in the inventory.
are you attacking? Don't roll into that room. <laughs> yeah, let me lose my life right now. minutes god damn it <laughs> that is with two devs We take the chunks, the electricity, and the fire. I know that they don't like fire. Electrocuted. I guess I'm just electrocute. <laughs> ah, come on. Jeez, no. Hey Jimmy, thank you for the good luck. It's appreciated. Hope you're doing well today. How was your Monday? Ah, 
Oh, come on, that still hit me. Bullshit. Actually, because it takes a while for him to. Ah, fuck this is ah, okay, I guess it worked out. I'm not sure if uh, igniting that weapon even does a lot in this phase because we have so small windows to actually hit him. I mean, I guess it's a bit of an increase. But then you have buff the Scott. Ah, excuse me? Just you have to hit like his head or something in order to deal damage there. Surviving! Oh god. Well, I hope you're surviving good. Basically, just like Eric, right? Surviving in a harsh world. Gonna be a tough cookie to be that. Uh, right. Oh, I actually killed him on the ceiling. Uh. Okay, simply because this is a bit of a scuffed run already. Uh, I will not grab the moon silver to the right there. I will just completely omit it. Joseph. Eric, where is see what that does. He is the I feel Herman, alas. Why do you? I am an Herman was the dead. We must of what do you they are in you have Eric, the night crook. That is a fate. Then you are you must leave. What about you? Rid my Lord Lud. I will very well. <laughs> Okay, I feel like this is the point where we should go back to the manor and grab a cover level, right? Um, let's try this. Now that I think about it, that was probably a mistake. Because now I won't have enough to buy the upgrade material. Probably shouldn't invest that much. I says he is dead. dead. I not. I'll probably just get 2020. 20, like 20 health and uh, 20 strength. Yeah, because even later I'm only supposed to have 25 strength. But definitely I will spend it on at least two levels. I just wanted to grab the health before we go into the catacombs to make those a little bit easier. in the catacombs. Crypt. John Crypt. John Crypt catacombs. Mikasa Sukasa. I'm not sure if this item is really worth it, but for the sake of it, I'm just gonna pick it up now and see if we're actually gonna use it later. As we learned last time, the hungry essence and the starving essence actually does not uh, affect boss drops or boss micro drops. 
Basically, no point in picking those up. Hey, Robin. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Just making my way through this game as fast as I possibly can. Things are already a little bit scuffed, but uh, first one of the evening, so I'm just getting back into the swing of things, taking the opportunity to try out a couple of things. So don't ex necessarily expect me to beat my previous time, but we'll see how it goes. speed or anything. <sighs> maybe, Jimmy, maybe. The thing is, um, as I said earlier, this the high jump is like too uh, sporadic for me. Like it kind of has no rhyme or reason. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh, okay, we might die. Maybe we died. Uh, the high jump is like too sporadic for me. Like there is just no consistency when I do it. And that basically defeats any purpose it would have for me personally. It's like once we find like a consistent setup, um, then I will consider it. But uh, I might just spend like two minutes or so, you know, hopping around in place. And uh, maybe there will be a spot where, you know, we can save two minutes or so with it. But I'm not seeing that just yet. So I'm opting to not go for it in my runs just yet until we've done, you know, a little bit more research and actually know how to do it consistently. But yeah, I can definitely see us, uh, you know, being able to jump up onto some of these platforms and uh, maybe skip a room or so. Absolutely. It's also, I'm not sure if that is like a difference between the PC and the PlayStation. Like apparently everybody playing on PC can do it somewhat consistently. Uh, I'm like the only one who doesn't. So I'm not, I don't know if that's like a, you know, different platform issue or if it's just straight up a me issue. Can you please die? Thank you. I hate this room. I mean, I'm ready to accept that as a me issue. Something happened. A lazy pet! Thank you for the follow. Oops. Much appreciated. I hope you're well on this fine Monday evening. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry, I have uh, the map overlaying part of my layout here, so I can't quickly see when something happens on stream. Uh, what was that again? Oh yeah, right. Screw that. I don't need that. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, he did give a little bit more info, like holding down the jump button for, uh, oh, fuck you, holding down the jump button for the second jump. Mm. But I'm nowhere near the consistency that is shown in the video. I get it to work sometimes, but then I'm more befuddled as to why it worked compared to, you know, that it worked. Like, I've tried with um, a couple different, like, visual indicators, but none of them seem to be consistent in any way, shape, or form. So, I don't know. 
Like, I feel like there is more at play there than just doing a charge strike and jumping at the end of it. Did kick down the other stone, right? Yeah, okay. Forgetting all my splits. Many, of course. Um. Gonna buy one off of you. Should be good enough, right? I kinda don't like the fact that I have to go to the manor again here. I also kind of don't see a way around it. I actually can't afford to buy a third one. Mm. Let's buy the third stone. Uh, blip. Yep, exactly. Yeah, but I think um, one other user, I forget the exact name, like Rina something or other. I think I mean, it starts with an R. Um, it's something that it probably has to do with how the game buffers inputs, and I can totally see that being the case. Um, because wasn't it like Diggity who said he was also able to do it off a roll into another screen, so on a screen transition. So it's definitely not isolated to just being able to do that with a charged strike, which means there's something else going on there, like... Not necessarily entirely, but uh, the charge strike itself is not the key, I don't think. It's something else that's going on that has to do with the charge strike or, you know, actions similar to the charge strike. The thing is, uh, since people seem to be able to do it off a charge strike and a roll, and both of these cause uh, dust to appear on the ground like that, right? that it might have something to do with that and how it lags the game. But then again, you can also do the, you know, high jump, 1.5 jump, whatever, without the dust particles appearing. But because if you use your charge strike, not you don't always get dust on the ground and it still works. At least from my testing. The reason I find that interesting is, um, and I don't know if you've played that game, but if you know Muramasa the Demon Blade, uh, the funny thing with that game is that if your character runs, he also leaves like dust particles behind, and those change the RNG values in the game. <laughs> so you can't do um, RNG manipulation by the way you run, which obviously is like a TAS only thing, but um, you know, it got me thinking. Yeah, I think Diggity said that it could do it from a roll. Unless I misread what he said. Which might or might not be possible, but I think he said that he was able to do it from a roll on a screen transition. Yeah, I think I said it was from a roll, right? Didn't I? Can you please not jump around as much? Thank you.
What did I just say? Can we rename Edwin to the pain in the butt? Oh. Already in this part of the fight, huh? Oh wait, no, that was the wrong split. Oh my god, I didn't split anything here, did I? <laughs> Why do I have all these splits if I'm not using any of them? <laughs> I'm normally not that bad at splitting, I swear. It's just I think I just have too many splits for this game. Also just trying to look at the map that I made for the pickups while running here and it's harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, no worries. I think it's, it's, it's more hell. Uh, it will definitely be a bigger help once you have memorized all the uh, pickups and stuff so you don't actually have to use the map anymore. Because the thing is, there aren't a lot of spots like in the run where you have a bit of downtime to scroll around in the map. So I have it like, you know, open on my screen, but kind of small-ish, which makes it very hard to identify where those things point and what it is. So I can see, hey, do I actually want this or not? <laughs> Kind of defeating the purpose of the whole exercise. <laughs> oh, God. No! Go away! Oh my God, can you please... I swear to God, grabbing these handholds is like the worst. But yeah, I can definitely see the, uh, you know, high jump, one and a half jump, whatever, come in handy in this region in particular. So you can definitely 
save him to go around. But then again, how much time do you actually save by that? I mean, you could definitely just jump up here. Problem is, you also have to execute it, so... It's not as big of a time save as you might think at first glance, I don't think. Yeah, I can see it usable in the crypt for sure. I'm wondering if uh, that one spot at the beginning of Mithringal where you have to lower the ladder um, by hitting a switch in the next room over, if you can't just grab that ladder and go straight to Mariano without having to go through that other screen and hitting the button. Dip. Why didn't you roll, you fucking idiot? I'm with Never mind. Oh, really? Oh. Interesting. I didn't even consider that possibility. Hmm. Well then, of course, uh, it comes down to, can you just jump onto that particular uh, platform? Or not? Um, I'm not using that Nightcrux for leveling anyway. I mean, maybe a little bit. But I am good not doing that just now. Because I need 10,000 of that Nightcrux to grab the gloves anyway. So I might as well just do that when I go back from the manor. Oh, by the way. Hit the marshlands. Okay, why are they shooting at me but I'm not burning? Ah, oh, you bastard. Ah. Uh... What do you do there when that guy just decides to fuck you over? Are you just unlucky? I hate this screen so much. I guess you just have to see if that guy is there or not. And if he is, well, don't uh, go to the other side. sad um, also since we're here I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and refill my um, healing ampules <laughs> ah god He did like the perfect order of operations there to kill me.
Why can't I hit you when you are frozen like that? Okay. Time to save a lot of time. <laughs> Not like this though. <laughs> That's not how I wanted to save time, by the way. <laughs> Wanna see me do it again? No, it's not. Okay. Nope. That should be enough. <laughs> Get the fuck correct. So thank you, Jimmy, for this. I actually no idea what that previous bit was because it just renamed it, so, uh, you know. The time save of uh, five and a half minutes here might not be completely accurate. This, this is probably more. Just as an FYI. What's this? Oh yeah, chunks. Cool. Ah! I freaking hate these tentacles. We saved quite a bit of time there. Um, <laughs> so, okay, I'm missing one moon silver stone. Missing three, and then I need seven thousand five hundred. Yeah, I don't have enough if I do this. Oh, I also need to buy this, so screw that idea anyway. So I got the sword up to level three. But then in the past. Oh no, wait, I go to ice caves first. Because I want to pick up the powder. Oh, not, not ice caves. Um, The ruins of the Osses Fortress. Wait. Changed my route there. Because Burned Apostate is um, weak against Frost, and you can get quite a few pickups of the Lunar Powder here. Oh. What did you do? Good. 
Oh yeah, I'm doing absolutely no damage to you guys, do I? How are you doing, I hate how pinpoint accurate their fucking spear throws are, man. Am I dead? I might be. Yep, I'm dead. Just go fast. Makes it way easier. I didn't even think of that beforehand. <laughs> going to ice caves, am I? Being a bit of a bastard, aren't you? Thing 
things are going pretty well, I think. I mean, this run is all over the place, but uh, I don't know. I'm trying out some new things here and there. So it's to be expected. I did an oopsie there. I was not supposed to dash just yet. Now I'm supposed to dash. Um, but yeah, next one should go way smoother. Hey, how are you, buddy? What's cooking on your Monday? Yeah, where's the thing pending? Oh, next one. All right. Um, anyway, and that is the breach. So now we go back to West District. throat ah damn yeah people are starting to get sick around here too but then again you know it's actually winter here now so we had a lovely minus eight degrees celsius today and uh we have a lot of snow outside already so i guess you know starting to catch colds is like pretty expected right now these screens man Hot, 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 hot. I guess you don't have to kill that guy, huh? Lazy bum ass bastard. Thank you. 
Okay, what do we grab here? If I buy one more. Can not get it to level five because I am missing salt. We'll get 25 points off of that anyway. So I guess 31. If you go increase anyway. Can I edit my split solder going? Oh, I can. Uh. Oh, wait. So we got the EGB to plus four. We have. Hit. And what is it? 31 strength? Oh yeah, I already lowered the barricade like I should a while ago. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Me not splitting? <laughs> what? Uh, but now we have the problem that I have to come back here. To the church. I remember to split. Oh, glorious day! I think I'm only stronger at this one already. Weapon buff running out. I mean, to be fair, I, just, I knew that she was gonna do the Superman thing like shortly into the fight, so I can't really blame anybody but me. Though. I wanted to buff my weapon, not use an injection.
Come on. Why did it roll me in the other direction? I keep falling for the ceiling injection. I would think it's another drop. Oh, not a drop, but get the idea. I guess you can also sequence break uh, and tell Winnell here with a higher jump. Continue the dead. Do not vent. I will do. I show. Yeah, don't need to buy this. Yeah, I mean, you can't sequence break a lot, I don't think, because, you know, you still have to get the key and then go all the way around and whatnot, but. I should allow it to do something.
That's a friendly reminder to use the short sword or the nightfall blade, as it's called, to break these things. Because you only need four weapon hits to break them, not based on damage or anything. Since the great sword is quite a deal slower than the little blade, gives a little bit of time every time you have to break one of these. What new wit in Discord? Oh, oh, what's it about? No idea why I'm fighting these guys. I know it's actually faster to push this one back instead of going through the building or not. I mean, it might be if you put it in the right spot. Like, not at the far end like I did. So like that will be your standard answer from now on like that's a place to 1.5 jump no matter what it is the boss fight that's a place for the 1.5 jump you just have to go in a straight line that's a place for the 1.5 jump also i forgot to split again <clears throat> I did have the short sword equipped. Dude, you are seriously pissing me off. Great fight. That jump with the two whip hits, that's... Uh. I can combo in the air, great! Still hit me. Bullshit. That still hit me. Bullshit. That still hit me. Bullshit. Oh my god. Oh, why am I playing so bad right now? It's okay, embarrassing. That button was on me. Oh my 
dude. What the fuck is this? I guess I need a new strategy against this guy. That backwards hit is so idiotic. Or the backwards range on that one strike in the combo. him with this sword. Thank you. Gee. That fight was ass. Because you weren't paying attention. Absolute garbage tier. Why did I deal some? Oh, yeah, I level up in between, didn't I? Why didn't I use the Mark of Transcendence against that dude? Like, honestly. somehow play less violent games why really what if i like my violent games
I find an angsty gamer boy who needs his violence. If it makes him feel happy or something. What do I know? Oh, yeah, I made it to the entrance. Sometimes this game is a bit bullshit, isn't it? A normal attack. Really? Now that is a sentence I wouldn't expect to read today. Yeah, it really it does have nothing to do with uh, the charge attack itself. It's just about the buffering issue. Not exactly sure if that makes it better or worse, though. <laughs> if I'm terribly honest with you. Well, hey, I guess you can't do it quicker, which is good. Frozen status. I mean, it's also true. Oh, you have input display? Oh, magical. a little bit of safety here. Oh, I'm frozen again. God damn it. There's so much ice in this game. Bullshit. I probably don't even have to hit that elevator, actually, now that I think about it. God. Oh, at least I got to drop the frozen status, right? Yeah, 
me the fuck out of here. Really? Cheer. Ah. Didn't know that attack traveled that far. Did you see that ice wave? It's traveled straight up the barricade and down the other side again after it went up to heaven. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny.
Okay. Let's see if we can actually hit those stats. Should be plus six. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, I can get plus six. I can even get plus seven, but plus seven is actually not worth it. Because it's a very minuscule increase, so we get a bigger damage increase if you, um... Go ahead and pump your strength up to 38. I guess that is only what we're getting right now. So this is probably the split, or this, the Manfred split is the one where we will lose a lot of time. Um, because hopefully our timer is actually gonna be correct. Uh huh. Because last time I was here, the timer stopped counting after I think Lisa. Because it was paused for some reason. Lady, where the heck are you going? I mean, I guess I'm following that lady to the other end of the earth. form. So Lisa, but I have the bigger reach. <sighs> Can I defeat Manfred this way? Eh, yeah, sure. Give it a go, shall we? Hey, I see how the time is already going. It's because it's fake. We'll probably lose four to five minutes to this. Ah. Fake me out. I actually didn't, but I didn't read it correctly. Because I'm a dum dum. No jump. God. Oh 
No, 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 no. Dude. I think I'm dead. Actually, no, I'm not. Why is that one fucking blood orb like spawning right on top of me every fucking time? Hate everything about this. Should have actually been a gold split actually because again keep in mind for some accidental reason my timer was paused the last time we paused killed manfred so i actually got a real time this time hey tex how are you doing buddy how was your monday uh final time for breath of fire was eight hours 50 minutes and change So, uh, it was a wrong way. Did I actually not pick up the one thing that I did want to pick up? I did, in fact, not pick up the one thing that I did to pick up, but I picked up the other thing. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it was a run. Like, holy shit. That run did me dirty. It violated me. <laughs> not gonna lie. Yep, yep. I mean, it was also the first time I was running it, so, you know, no hard feelings there. But goddamn. That was harsh. Okay, I can only get to 47. It's like, you know, you have to keep in mind I was playing on an emulator um, that already loses you at least half an hour or so or actually playing it on a PlayStation 2 with fast disk speed enabled. And then always I did some rookie mistakes, but goddamn my luck or lack thereof was uh, quite the sight to behold. Like, for reference, um... The final boss uh, in the world record uh, run of the game takes like, I think, nine minutes. It took me 16 because that boy was just rude. <laughs> like, I barely made it through that fight. Like, I was pretty much, you know, at the end of my resources. And I just clutched out of victory somehow. Oh, I picked up the wrong item. Under the moon silver stone. Not the other one. But yeah, it was definitely a fun run. I think I will do one more run of it uh, when I do it on emulator, simply because of the um, safe states that it can use. Uh, you know, it makes it a little bit more beginner friendly, I think. And after that, we will go on to console. And get some actual times. But we can probably also submit to the boards then. Why nice, is everybody so rude to me? Also, in case you didn't know, if you go into beast mode, it clears your status ailments, which is hugely beneficial. Yeah, exactly. 
that is what I was thinking as well, you know, start an emulator even though it is uh, slower and everything, but my god, just, you know, use safe states to practice the, um, the points in the run that you know you're struggling with, just so you're not stuck there for, uh, I don't know how long, forever or something. <laughs> Still hit me. Bull shit, dude. Bull shit. I call bullshit on you and your shenanigans. I think that just carriage just deals a bajillion damage to you if it just touches you. It's like what? Why? Why the fuck does it do that? Um I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean literally it doesn't really matter. I'll pick here. I kind of forgot you started with that. Oh, he turned around the bastard. I just really love how you just face plants at the end there. <laughs>
Uh, sure, why not? How did that fire arrow hit me? Excuse me. Okay, I know how that one hit me. what I wanted to do. Fuck. I deserve to die there. I honestly deserve to die there. Okay, so I hate anything and everything about this room. I like how we get the, like, the exact amount of stones there. Curse bear, only one. And then we get what? Uh... Yeah, I actually kind of fifty four strength here. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. I don't care, I'm getting in that safety ladder. <laughs> ah. Oh, 
Okay, so that was a waste. Noted. Because this platform is just too small. Um, should hit them with that. Bit of a shame, really. But it be what it be. And what it be, be bullshit. Just in case. Really? You can't grab that before the conversation? Ah, I forgot to open the gate. Oh, at least so, though. Um... <laughs> Alright then, final boss done. You're not He-Man though, buddy. Stop pretending. 
Oh. Hashtag not my he man. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, they can't dodge under there. Why, why did I even try to dodge under there? I could have just transformed. I'm just using healing here. That cause. I'm starting to get a bit nervous. Did you just cancel that attack? What? Kinda of wasn't doing anything anymore there. Kill me, please. Kill me, please. Oh my god, ladies. Come on. Come on. Uh, no, it's, no, it's outside the grid church. Yeah. Kind of fitting. How we just came from the cathedral. If you think about it. was that? Did you guys see that? Can somebody clip that real quick, please? That weird ledge jump that I did there. You are corrupt no for your more upon the we have taken. You have made a valiant choice. You have taken your place amongst your true kin, Eric. And so it is written. Your new existence. One that was always meant for you. 
has led to this moment, this honor, to serve your god. Welcome home, Eric. Okay, yeah, that I jump off of a normal attack, that is juicy. Jesus. Thank you for GG's. <clears throat> Sorry. Much appreciated, guys. So I think I can just stop picking up these chunks to refill my focus. Because I'm never using them. I have all that shit just stockpiled in my inventory. Um, I just have no use for it. Like maybe one or two in the beginning, but that's about it. <laughs> also, I don't think you have to pick up the powder of the damned. Um, because you get enough fire and electrical. And even uh, ice powder. You know, weapon buffs. So none of that is really necessary. Mm. Oh yeah, two hours, one minute. I mean, that means we can just easily push this up two hours now because, you know, I had, what, two deaths in the beginning of the run? And then I... Changed my splits, I had to look at some other things, so yeah. Subchar was easily achievable. Also, Jimmy, I just had to look at uh, your video uh, with the normal attack high jump, whatever. Huh. I don't think I will try that tonight, though. Um, I will have to, you know. Give that like a proper watch uh, when I'm not streaming and running this game at the same time. One thing that I still want to start cutting out more of the run is going back to the manor so often. Like for example, I don't think I need to do that at the high vaults of Mithringal, for example. Or do it at the High Walls of Mithringal, but then don't do it in the Junus Ministry, one or the other. Because going back to um, the mana, like for every single region, just is too much. I know I'm, not exactly, I'm not exactly doing it every single region, but you get the idea. I don't need to do it. I don't think we need to do it in Osseus. I thought even the Crypto is breakable, really? That is surprising, actually. Everything too high up, huh? Alright. <laughs> 
See if I got about my tea. Now it's cold. Ooh. I mean, I'm. I keep the um, credits rolling while I go and grab something to drink. Uh, go to the bathroom. So I advise you guys to do the same. Yeah, get up and stretch. Do the things you need to do, and then we're back with another one. So see you in a couple minutes. Icox and Moon Silver location. Okay. I mean, I guess that's something. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's actually go into the splits and have a looky here, shall we? Mm. And I forget to split this so often. One thing that I want to get rid of is this one. Not accurate. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, that was the wrong one. No. Deleting the wrong splits. Ah. Um. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to get rid of. I think everything else looks fine. Guess we'll see. When you hear the sword sound effect. Okay. You know, looking at the percentage completed, I am. Um, Oh, no, wait. It's lower now because we don't explore Ask Manor anymore. Yeah, yeah okay. I was gonna say, uh, it kind of starts looking to me as if um, <clears throat> items picked up counter toward the total. Alright, when you hear the sword sound effect, two quick jumps holding the second one. You mean the zing? Do you do it at the end of the sound effect of the sword, or just as soon as you hear the sword, you will start meshing jump?
And the sword is still out, but before Eric brings his shoulder back up. So by the shoulder back up, you mean when he does the swing and before he retracts it, right? After the attack. So while he's still in this crouched over state where the sword is pointing to the ground. Still not very consistent for me, but it's way better than with a child strike. So I guess it's just a practice thing at this point. Yeah, thank you. I feel like as soon as I know how something works, I get worse at it. <laughs> at all at the moment. No. <laughs> I said to complain. Like I said, I, will, I won't do. We will do one more run, but I won't do it in that run because it's still too inconsistent for me. And uh, you know, I want to have a proper look at where it would be applicable. Um, but yeah, that's this is getting somewhere. This is definitely getting somewhere, which is cool. Very, very cool. <clears throat> Let me have a look see here. <laughs> I does RNG? Oh, great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear right now. <laughs> Not really. gonna reset this um yeah i guess we'll just go ahead and do our next run right and i have uh one more celebratory cookie
What do you mean by weirdly? Does this give you more height? One more run. One more run. One more run. <clears throat> a new dawn is a Okay, three, two, one uh, go. I'm trying to remember where I split this time around, shall we? Once in my life. One hit, dude. It's like one hit away from death. And then he hit me. Interesting.
first bear. Who is the one? An interrogate. My lady. You speak with. I feel a. As do I. Then sick and pray. What would you have? I have called. There are whispers. <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, maybe I should pick up the Hemolith chunks thingies. <clears throat> Simply because if we fail mana skip, you know, you can get a second try without having to go back to the save point. But then I think, no, if you fail that skip, you die anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> There's a drop in there, and it's two bullets! Eureka! More bullets, oh! Even more two bullets! pick up those chunks up there. Okay, so you can hit them off screen. Nice. That is good to know. Something your way. Pity. What is your? It is. Hmm. God, man. I think menuing will forever be the bane of my existence. You're a fine piece of me. Thank you. Can you find piece of meat, chat? I got. Taking that as a compliment. <clears throat> but this fine piece of meat can't climb ledges for shit. Also, I guess you can't jump up here, can you? With a 1.5 jump, high jump, whatever. Because that was the one that I was talking about earlier. Because then you wouldn't have to do all of what I'm about to do here. I'm basically going through all of this screen right here. Having to lower that ladder. But I guess if you can't grab that bit of ladder, then yeah, tough one. Stairs. But you're not standing on stairs here. Oh, wait. Even ground. Sir. 
this new pool and ah. gotcha. I assure I should Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, how about we make it through this area without dying this time? <laughs> that would be quite something, wouldn't it? So far, so good. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, grab this again to make another save. Even though, you know, technically I don't need to, but um, just in case we soft luck or something bad happens, I don't have to go back and activate that elevator again, um, open that gate again. <sighs> Why do I always pick that up? I always think it's healing, but it's not.
Don't roll. Don't roll. Okay. Funny how you can save one and a half minutes here. Do you know that you can hit them twice with a sword in the air? Because up until now, apparently I did not. Makes me second guess the usage or acquisition of Skull Cleaver again. Do I even want to use a second weapon buff? I mean, I have more than enough later on, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I should probably go with fire.
So I guess we figured out I don't need to pick up that uh, extra moon silver here. Saves so about 20 to 30 seconds. He is the I feel Herman, alas. Why do you speak? I am an Herman was the dead. We must of what do you they are in you have Eric, the Nightcrow. That is a fa then you you must leave. What about you? Rid my Lord Lud I will take very well. Not gonna lie, the round crypt scares me. Because we have so little health. The enemies there are. Uh, well, they are what they are, aren't they? <laughs> In what sense? Knows. Ooh, ooh, this, this, this. Bombs of these guys deal so much freaking damage. It's quite insane. What did I do? Why did I do that? This is a problem, huh? This as a safety. Thank you. 
dodging that goddamn cannon shot is just fucking impossible. See, it's impossible. I mean, thank God I was able to still push that block down, but what? <laughs> How did it just hang in the air like that? <laughs> the fuck? Another up. An intro. <laughs> Many, of course. Uh, I think I buy all three. I'm forgetting. Actually, I think I don't buy any of those. Oh, crap. Ah, because I don't need them right now. Oh, well. Hey, diggity! Think about the good luck. Much appreciated. How are you doing, buddy? can't get all the stat increases that I wanted now because I bought those but then again it doesn't matter that much now does it hey how are you doing diggity uh, hope you well ah well you know we got we gotta get our runs in right I mean while I'm streaming <clears throat> Jimmy has found some hot new tech Because apparently you don't even need to do the charge strike for that bigger jump you can just do it off of a normal attack <laughs> Just ridiculous Ah uh, 1.5 I am being a Castlevania samurai, absolutely. I'm just so sad that we don't pick up any of the katana weapons in the speedrun. Because there are two katanas in this game, they are probably the best weapons in the game, but they are too far out of the way for us to pick up during the run. And it makes me hella sad. Because the, the Rift of Blood is just mwah, chef's kiss. Love that weapon. What I do not love, however, is this room. Um, so I got a cannon jump. Oh, look at me. I actually did the thing. I mean, we'll probably pick them up in... Um, 100% and stuff. So, you know, always that. Um, that and uh, nothing else. Okay. That incentive would take too long. It's like, I don't know. Rift of Blood alone probably takes like 10 minutes to pick up outside of the road. So, uh, yeah, good luck getting that in as an incentive. 
You know, with six Nycrux, it might actually be worth it to um, Death Warp here now. Just saying. I mean, six Nycrux. Forgetting that in the second phase there come out spikes when he does the jump. You can also do this. jump another time. Wait, did you do another new one? <laughs> Afraid to ask what they discovered now. <laughs> Because you still need the lost mark of transcendence uh, to even progress anywhere inside there. It's like the second door, or the second room in there that will immediately stop you. You can? Nice. Yeah, that saves a whole room that we have to go through.
Every time when the game takes a little while to load in a screen, I think it soft locked itself. Like this. And I'm getting scared. Because also the game got an update on PlayStation 5 today and I have no idea what it does. Because from what I've played so far, I don't notice any changes. Maybe they just did some bug fixing. I mean, they obviously did some bug fixing, but nothing that affects the route. On a lower lettuce can be climbed. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Did it actually pay off that I picked this up here? I don't know. They're gonna do it though. Oh, that would also be interesting to know, yeah. But can you skip having to defeat the four abbots in Juno's ministry? By just grabbing the ladder off by the checkpoint. But I guess that would be too high, I don't know. Like, I feel like that would be too high. Obviously, I have no um, roof. But can you grab this ladder here? Like above that checkpoint. Because then you can, you can skip the whole go around here. I mean, you already kind of can, but you know. Make it even faster. But we are here for the big jumps, Jimmy. Oh, fuck. Big jumps is what we live for. All hail the big jumps. Oh, fucking hell. Well, I put that on myself. Can I even collect? Oh, my God. I don't know why, I kind of just want to reset this. And fire is such a fucked status effect in this game. Like, that knockback is not necessary, guys. Like, holy shit. The damage is big enough. Why does it also have to knock me back? Ah, fuck. Yep, here we go. Nothing I could have done there. Dude! What the fuck, man? What are you supposed to do there if that guy on the right side sees you? Like, honestly. What? I'm just burning through all my healing. Okay. 
fuck with this. I'm checking this detour. Like, holy shit. If that guy on the right sees you, you're just done for. Most of that time save that we had is already gone. Okay, not as much time loss as I thought it would be, but that's only because my way through there the first time around was also pretty uh, abysmal. So, uh, yeah, for that what you will, I guess. with an analog stick actually So I guess each death takes 15 seconds or so to fail this, which is fair. I'm just thinking because, you know, I died three times and I lost about 43 seconds. So. 15 seconds per death sounds reasonable. It's kind of funny though that it worked better the first time I did this, <laughs> like in the last run. Maybe a little like first try there or something. No, second try because I died once because of stupidity. Like I said, point one seconds. Awesome.
Um, the manuscript? I think it was 10 minutes or so. Now that you put me on the spot, I'm actually not quite sure anymore. How many games have I speedrun? Um, good question, actually. Stop spitting at me. I feel like they were, you were there for most of them, Ramzo. Uh, I don't know, I would have to look at my um, speedrun.com profile, actually. I never kept track of the number. Yeah, I think it's more than 10 at this point, actually, yeah. Because I do remember that we did the whole, um... Uh, seven speedy samurai thing earlier this year. Just celebrate my stream anniversary. And I had already more than seven games to choose from. screen not <laughs> guess it's just a huge dead zone For sure, same. You know, when you don't know where else to go and you just come to this area, because clearly you didn't find the entrance to the crypt. And all of a sudden this game is just unadulted pain. to question the sanity of the developers because what the fuck were they thinking like I was stuck in this area for like the first evening the game released <laughs> because I couldn't find the entrance to the crypt because I was dummy thick and didn't check the well or whatever, you know, the stone tablet. Like in Mithringal that leads down to the caverns. Like, basically everybody else playing this game. I 
think it's like the biggest design flaw like this game has. Because everybody remembers, you know, the blocks that you can push when um, you get the gravity ring. But nobody will fucking remember a little text on that statue thingy that tells you, hey, you might be able to put a ring in here. That's like ludicrous game design. Like, don't tell us, show us, you know, put like one of these blocks there that you can push with a ring, you know, that shiny new ability that you've got. It's like, I don't know. I really don't understand what went into designing that particular puzzle, or whatever you might want to call it. Why do I keep picking this up? Uh, okay, where are we going? Liturgical Pass. Liturgical Pass means West District. Yep, exactly. I don't know, I didn't have a lot of problems with the side quests actually. Like, those were kind of clear to me. But then again, you know, keep in mind I have played all of the Soulsborne games, uh, Bloodborne especially, so... I kind of understood what they were going for with those. Um, when I got screwed over with the quest, it was because of bugs. Like, old Wyman not dropping the last liver for Dorothea and stuff like that. It wasn't because I, uh, you know, didn't understand. Well, like, liturgical ass? <laughs> I like that one. But that's, like, the thing, right? Like, a lot of people keep complaining about certain things in this game. Um, and I'm like, dude, that is designed straight out of Bloodborne. All you people have been clamoring for Bloodborne to come to another system than PlayStation 4. And now you get it in a slightly different manner. And all you guys are doing is complain about the exact things that Bloodborne did. It's just ludicrous to me. I mean, you know, the people complaining might not be the one that actually wanted, you know, Bloodborne on other systems. But still, it is so funny to me. Also, I did these in the wrong order, didn't I? Because usually I go top first, then right and down. But I forgot to go top. Bloodborne's... You know what? Um, every time I play this game, I also get a craving to go ahead and play Bloodborne again. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I actually looked at Bloodborne speedruns the other night. Tally can uh, attest to that. I'm not saying I'm gonna start speedrunning it, but... You know, this game got me interested. That's the best way I can describe it. Also, I might die here. I should heal. Can you just hit that guy to death, please? Thank you. Yeah, 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 I've seen that thread on the Steam forums. It's like, dude, it came out like a week ago. What the fuck are you on about? Ah, idiot, man. I mean, I don't know if that is supposed to be a troll post or something, but god damn people. Like, seriously. Ah, fuck. Yeah, they sure are. Oh, that's not good. do 
don't like being burnt here. Uh oh, I also didn't do the thing. Oh, this this is spicy now. Yep. 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 I kinda saw that coming the moment I got burned. Oh fuck. Why did I get burnt though? Fucking hell. Call me a tits lady. Yeah, that doesn't help. Why am I getting burnt so much here now? Going through this area, such a low level, spicy. Spicy for sure. Actually, you actually want to go ahead and put some point into Dexterity just because of the fire resistance. <laughs> Vision and the rest into strength. Okay, cool. And then we're also gonna put this on and this. And we are gonna go back to outside the great church. I lost time, but I also golded. Uh, I guess the game just can't make up its mind. <laughs> Nope, I don't think so. I don't pick up any uh, pastilles whatsoever. If I do, it's mostly a mistake. So yeah, status effects kind of fuck me over. frames on the um you know getting up on the ledge there
I'm always trying to manipulate her to stay like in the middle of the room as best as you can. Because I don't want her in the corners. When she's in the corners, that is when things go wrong. As far as I'm aware, at least. Oh, hey. I really see her do that attack anymore. I don't know why. Using a buff at the start of the second phase kind of isn't worth it because she does the Superman thing pretty soon. Yeah, see? It's like, pfft, why? Why should I even try and go for it? Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. That was spicy. Dude, can you. Heal, please. Been hammering at that button for a minute. Because it's so hard to see what she does when she's stuck in the corner like that. And there's no way to get her out of it. I just really hate when that happens. Yeah, that fight. Like you really want her to use, um, uh, you want her to use the flower, you know, where she's blowing those fire bubbles. You know, those three projectiles that chase you down because that is when you can get a lot of damage and especially if you have the frost buff. And she rarely did this during this fight. She did a lot of other shitty things though. We just have to get lucky with whatever she does during this fight, which is a bit of a shame, but nothing you can do there. Yeah. But hey, at least I didn't die. It's like one of the longest, ugh, longest boss fights in the game, I think. So, good thing we didn't die. Thank us a lot of time there. Mm. 
my bad. Oh, wait, I don't want to pick this up. Maybe you can grab that, but I guess I can't. Then you wouldn't have to go down to that pit there. Basically, can't make it through high walls of Mithringar without them. Not to speak of um, the uh, what's it called, Junus Ministry. Like you have to have the wings there. No way around it. There was so much. All right, I didn't do so much time there, have we? The dead. Do not fit. I will do. I show. Yeah, the, the platforms in Junus Ministry are just way too high, I think, for you to be able to reach them. Oh. Yep. The 1.5 jump is not a replacement for the wings, like, at all. As soon as they get a double jump, which admittedly is very late in the game, uh, the 1.5 jump thing, you can completely throw that out of the window. And forget it ever existed. Oh fuck, I am dead. I am so dead. Thank god I died here. Maybe not. I 
guy's just mean, man. Oh my god, dude. Stop shooting your fucking ice projectiles at me. What the fuck did I just say? Can't tell me you can't reach that. Yeah. Two and a half jumps. <laughs> I guess that would do it. Uh, what am I doing? Tell you with confidence that nothing in this game um, expects two and a half. Ju oh my god! Expects two and a half jumps. Okay, I remember that this guy was an absolute bell end in my last run. So let's try and not die to him three times or whatever long it took me. That would be cool. Think about the raid, man. How are you doing, buddy? How was Horizon? Sorry, middle of the boss fight. But yeah, welcome in, Raiders. I hope you had a fun time with Elk, and he set a new record or whatever it was was doing. Oh fuck you, dude. Back-to-back -back world records. Nice. Congratulations, man. Awesome stuff. Which category did you run today? I did the destroy today, I should say. Back to back world records, man. That is what I call destruction. The way that you can turn around mid jump and hit you with that!
get fucked. My lord. <laughs> I can still save so much time on this fight. <sighs> Maybe I should actually upgrade my stance before I do this fight next time. Because we have so much night cooks, we can definitely grab some levels. Might make this fight a little bit more bearable than it is at the moment. Jesus, fuck. And he plays an ultra hard. Um, the Zero Dawn of Forbidden West. Yeah, the game looks pretty nice. For sure. If you're a fan of Bloodborne, you know, have any love for the Soulsborne games, or just want a very good Metroidvania, well, maybe we'll go ahead and give uh, The Last Faith a try. Everybody here has been enjoying their time with it quite thoroughly. Speedrun community is starting to form. Also nice. I'm already finding quite a few tricks that I'm absolutely not using during my runs. <laughs> ah, you know what? I'm a, I'm a bellender. I forgot to transform into the beast again while fighting that guy. I always keep forgetting that I already have it during that point in the run. I am such a bad runner, everybody. I'm not saying that the beast would trivialize that fight, but it would definitely make it easier if I could just remember to use it. Jesus. Only oh, just an idiot. No, I just, I just keep forgetting that the transformation exists is all. <laughs> That's the long and short of it. <laughs> There's absolutely no speedrun reason for it that I'm not using it. I just keep forgetting that it is there. Push the block over his body. Not cool guy. Not cool. Sorry, milk. No hurries, no hurries. Oh, by the way, congratulations on the world records. Goddamn, I don't even think I said that yet. Maybe I've said it twice now? Well, doesn't diminish it whatsoever.
Maybe I should actually pick up some of the anti-ice pistols for this area specifically. Because I keep getting frozen here at that particular point in that room. Hello, these bad groups. Um, how does this compare to bl uh, Blasphemous? Good question. Um, whew. That's a tough one. Uh, it's definitely not easier, I want to say. Now, keep in mind, I only have played... Um... Oh, you can't check the stairs with the beast. But... Oh, for God, crying out loud. I even said that last time when I had one. All right. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot sandwich. Um... I've only played the first Blasphemous, so keep that in mind, uh, confirming my answer. And I've only played base Blasphemous, so I haven't played any of the DLCs that released after it, like, you know, Eventide and whatnot. Um, I think they're pretty comparable. I think you can make this game easier, simply because of the way, you know, that le because you can level up and stuff, you couldn't exactly do that in Blasphemous. In Blasphemous, you were, like, you know, hardlocked by finding, like, actual health upgrades and stuff. Whereas here, well, fight a couple more enemies and, uh, you know, level up your vitality and boom. There you go. You can now take more damage. Now, obviously, that only works to a certain degree, right? <sighs> can you please come down? Yeah. But yeah, that's, I'd say they're pretty comparable, you know, kind of on par to each other. But then again, you know, I also did a challenge run on Blasphemous. Again, that was back when the game released. So base version. Well, I did a no damage run on Blasphemous uh, without any equipment. You know, like the power-ups, you can get like the sword hearts and uh, the other stuff. But if you like Blasphemous, I think you will very much like this game. I guess is the long and short of it. Do keep in mind though that, you know, the game just released like not even two weeks ago at this point. So there are still things uh, that are buggy. And, uh, you know, that might affect your enjoyment of the game for now. But they are being worked on, the devs are aware of them, and they will get fixed, you know, eventually. Hopefully soon. But, you know, some of the frustrations that you might have with the game come from issues that are still there right now. I mean, I get both sides. I still think that, you know, both are, like... Hard Metroidvanias, I guess. And, uh, you know, this is like more of a Souls like, whereas Blasphemous is more like, you know, something like Hollow Knight. Even though some people also call um, Hollow Knight a Metroid, um, a Souls like, don't they? So, eh. <laughs> I, th 
think they have like similar enough elements that you can still compare them to a degree. Oh, fuck. I wasn't frozen. Don't you get like movement upgrades in Blasphemous? I'm pretty sure you get something. Like some of the upgrades that you, I don't know, go through different areas and stuff. But I'm not sure anymore. It's been, I don't know, at least two years, maybe three even, that I've played Blasphemous, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the game, to be honest. Really? Okay. Hmm. Because my memory of that game is fuzzier than I remember it to be. Two seconds. Ooh, okay. Wait, Blasphemous has a randomizer? That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Hey, Evie. Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it. How are you doing today? Also, is it Heafy or is it Heavy? I'm never sure when I read your name, to be honest. <laughs> like, I guess the case can be made for both. Uh, I need more of you. I need three more. Curse back. Only one pro uh, we pump everything. Oh, that's a lot less strength than usual. Someone missing something? I should get strength up to 38. I only was able to get it up to 33. Did I lose a Nycrox somewhere? It's Ify. Uh, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. To be honest, I did not make that connection. But here we are. Oh, I see. I see. We have randomizer royalty and chant. Everybody take a bow. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you know, I do most of my gaming on console, so I wouldn't even be able to play the randomizer even if I wanted to. Because I don't own Blasphemous on PC. Eevee? Alright. So, to be fair, I kind of understood what you were going for, so no worries. I've been pressing that button three times until he healed. What the fuck is wrong?
Never seen you do that. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> uh, I think I will actually take the death against Manfred. I am too low on health. Don't even think I will make it to Manfred. Maybe. Hayfi? Wait, Hayfi? Really? What the fuck? I mean, that works. <laughs> I mean, I wondered the death. gets worse and worse yeah there was shit everywhere right now uh that is a costly costly death Oh yeah, there, there was like nowhere for me to dodge there. He had me like completely locked down. I think there goes all of our time save. Because I can't exactly see myself coming back from that. Never seen his turnaround animation actually. It's kinda interesting.
Why would you do that, Jimmy? <clears throat> Just out of curiosity. He took your pen? <laughs> Why would you take your pen? Vampire baby thing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear about your pen. I guess you can take comfort in the thought that your pen served a higher purpose. Does that help? Is that a comforting thought? So you bastard enemies keep dodging my attacks. Stop that.
Ah, oh, fuck. only have to dodge the baby carriage as weird as that might sound start. That still hit me. Can you, like, give me a minute here? To think yourself superior to me. My lord. Why am I not... Uh, I'm really throwing this run away, like, right at the end, aren't I? not sure how much dps beast mode actually has because if you see like i hit him for like 200 with it i mean i hit faster don't get me wrong but it's really not as big an increase as you might think i don't think It's interesting to think that the first one was the better run. <laughs> oh, 
I am gonna abuse my death in this fight though. Just seeing how these fights are going. <laughs> I'd rather take it a little bit safe. How did she burn me in a single arrow? Oh, wait. Oh wait, I keep picking this up because I think it's health. It's not. When will I ever learn? I hate this room. I hate this room. But yeah, these uh, jumps here, they are way too high to reach with a 1.5 jump. You need the double jump here. I don't see anyone making this otherwise. Oh wow, that was a quick transformation. What the hell? Got some big jumps. Why am I missing? Two all of a sudden. The last time I came here, I had the exact amount needed. Curse bear, only one place. I forget to pick something up during this run. Oh, 
But everybody stop trying to kill me for just a one goddamn minute here. Out of the door and you get hit in the face. Lovely. I wonder if a death orb at this point would be faster actually to get back down. Okay. Well, good thing I actually used that fucking ladder down there. <laughs> Is this end game? Oh, also I forgot to switch for the gate. Everybody's just being an absolute champion at the moment. And of course now we know damage it. Right. I think the game is being incredibly rude at the moment. Oh. It is foolish to expect forgiveness. Your recompense shall be unworthy. Can I at least get a somewhat decent Ladakh fight? Describe how much I hate that floating orb.
I thought he was a bigger lightning, huh? Okay. Let's see how it is. What do you do with it, Ladakh? Hmm? Great power comes great responsibility. Ever heard that one? Fucking hell. You can't dodge under it. Why didn't that work last time? Dude is literally throwing hands at me. So disrespectful. Thing, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's like the thing, right? When he teleports around the place and throws these big projectiles at you, you have barely any time to react to it. I feel like being in the air gives you the most uh, chance of success dodging them. But nah. Do whatever works. Yeah, I'm a bit sad about this, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, <laughs> if you just look at the graph, like, <laughs> the run was definitely a bit all over the place, wasn't it? We gained time, we lost time. We gained time again, and we lost it. We gained it, and we lost it. Uh, there. Ah, oh, basically, yeah. Like, um, the deaths against the second Starborn Night Hunter, against Manfred, against the Cold One Beast. I'm trying to remember if I died in the early game somewhere. Right. 
didn't I also die against the first Starborn Night Hunter? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I died against that guy as well. I mean, that didn't lose me as much time, but still. Oh yeah, um, dying in Erlem just on the way to that guy. That also lost quite a bit of time. But hey, with a high jump, that might not be an issue anymore. Guess we can just go ahead and skip that fucking section. I mean, technically, I can just go ahead and, f you know, go for the other ending uh, and still set a world record there because nobody has run that one. <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, I'm really surprised that this one turned out to be the worst run out of the two I did today. Because I felt like I was screwing around during the other runs so much. You know, just trying different stuff and, uh, you know, I even changed my splits. I did not changed my splits, but, you know, edited them during the other run and stuff like that. And it was still faster than this one. Like, what the hell? Uh, one of the other, yeah, it's like, I mean, you probably didn't see it because, you know, I skipped through the text pretty quickly. Um, but the other ending is basically you pick an, the other option, and then you have to fight Annabella and Katarina. Uh, I mean, I could show you it in a second, right? But let's just have a look at the splits, shall we? The start was pretty good. Like, you know, if you look at all of this happening there, like, uh... Temple of the Deposed Gods, Mithringal, even the Federal Inquisition, Drawn Crypt as well. Those are all pretty good stuff. And then we got to Aelim, and um, yeah, you know, lost time on Stop on Night Hunter. Not as much as I thought I would, but that was because I died in Aelim in the other one as well. So there is still a lot of time for me to get out of Aelim. At least a minute, I would say. I uh, lost a bit of time in Ask Mansion because I failed the skip three times in a row. So that is where we lost nearly a minute there. Uh, Damned Ruins of Osteos Fortress was pretty good again. You know, no, no complaints there. The Tragical Pass was okay. We lost a bit of time against the Burned Apostate, but there was nothing I could do there. Like, the fight was good. She just didn't give me a lot of um, openings for me to attack her. So a bit of time lost there. Uh, Telvanel Village, we died once. And then we died a bunch of... Or, I don't think I died a bunch of time against the Starborn Shadow Hunter. Uh, but I died at least once, so... I guess I can save another minute there or something. And then obviously, you know, we had the death against uh, Manfred, which cost me about two minutes or so. So that was poo. And then, yeah, High Walls of Mythringal was also pretty bad because I died against the Cold One Beast, which means I also had to take death against Lina. And then, yeah. Yeah, I mean, ending was meh. I mean, why not? It's a different ending. And it's one more fight that you have to do. I mean, sure, it is only one more fight, but... Mm. Yeah, that is a thing... Um, that I'm also not quite sure about. Like, why are my upgrades all over the place? Like, I should be able to get the same upgrades as I did last run, but I kinda didn't. So something seems to be wonky with the Nycrox routing, but I don't know what. Mm, I don't know. So 
I think you can make a case for going for the bad ending or the good ending, uh, simply because, you know, it's sure. The only thing separating them is like one boss fight, like right at the end. That, uh, I don't know, it's like between two to five minutes to the run. Um, but if you were to go for an any percent run, obviously, you know, you would go for this ending. And if you want to go for the good ending, then well, you go for the other one. I mean, if you look at things like Bloodborne, they do the difference, I'm pretty sure. Where you fight a German or don't. It's a minor difference, sure. But it is a difference. Like, what would be the case, you know, of taking the good ending instead of the bad ending? Like, the bad ending is faster. There's absolutely um, no argument that I can have there that the good ending would be faster. So the true any percent would be the bad ending. If you're going to strike a, an ending, it would be the good ending. Because you skip a boss fight. And you have to take that particular boss fight anyway if you go for the true ending. Like, it's a requisite for that one. All right, um, let's just say, actually, go ahead, because um, <clears throat> if you finish the game, no matter which way, you get sent back to just before you make your ending choice, so I can show you the difference. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my God. The code is also long. But yeah, it's close. A life split here. Also, I kind of can't believe that the sum of best segments is sub 150. I think there's something wonky with my splits as well. Because that seems kind of ludicrous. Yeah, see, I'm missing like four levels. I was like, what? How? Why? Did I not recover my Nycrux after a fight when I died at some point? Was that it? Uh, can I... Ah, I didn't reactivate it. Ah, shit. Okay. Give me a minute then. Because once you kill Ladak, your um, warp point in the manor gets deactivated. That is why we have to take the detour here. Uh, I did, yes. I did remove that one. At least I think I did. I headed in for the other run, but this run... I should have deleted it beforehand. Grab this. Okay, so we make our way back here. I mean, I guess I can just go ahead and grab this one as well for whatever reason. Okay, so we're back here, right? <clears throat> Mash through the text, blah, 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 blah. For your upon the we have stake. Okay. And this is where you make your choice, right? As soon as you accept the throne, that's it. You know, that is where at least I split for the bad ending, because that locks in your choice, that gives you the ending. If you, however, refuse the throne, then you have to go through this. Yes. 
And I haven't practiced this fight with the greatsword yet, so uh, expect a lot of wild swings. I love this attack, it's so silly. <laughs> such a front-facing hitbox. Actually, I want to be topped off here. part of the fight where they don't do the little pause between their attacks anymore so now you have to go ahead and attack them while they are attacking themselves so doing like the last third of their health is like harder because they're basically getting no pause between their attacks anymore attack that you hope for because Annabella does not a lot of stuff there so you can get a couple more hits in than doing the other attacks. So this just really drags out the last third of the health bar. But generally Annabella is the one lagging behind so uh, you kind of want to keep track of her because it's probably her that you're gonna attack to you know, get the damage in like this. Katarina is just too fast. Ah, fuck. Ah, messed that one up. Could have gotten more damage in there, but I was a little bit too impatient. Oh my god. 
Uh oh. Just starting to mess it up, aren't I? Ah, one more hit. One more half, guys. Do this. Can you hit Katarina? Never tried hitting her. She's also too fast. Uh, I think that does it. Yeah, there we go. That's how I get the good ending. Yeah, like I said, it's like it's um, it's a hefty time investment. You would reject yeah, I mean, I didn't time it now, but I would wager that was probably like five minutes or so. I gaze now upon your wretched husk and ponder upon what could have been fulfilled. Alas. I shall gather further disciples to heal what has been said. And if you go for a true ending, you get yet another boss fight after this. So. But your fate has been decided. Which I want to say is even slower. <laughs> the final judgment of the fate but if you go for the true ending, you're also probably uh, more powerful, so. Yeah. It all has its ups and downs, obviously. I mean, maybe. Because you have to fight Annabella and Katarina for the true ending. Because the true final boss is after them. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess for now I would keep all three ending choices on the boards and just see how, you know, they get picked up. Like, if it turns out that actually nobody runs good ending... Hmm. I guess it could remove it. I would just keep it on there for now. Because the thing is, and, um, you know, that might not be indicative of a speedrun, but... Because the choice for between good and bad ending is, like, right at the end, right? It's just another choice. It kind of makes for a nice, like, uh, speedrun marathon incentive. Like, if you just submit the band ending, and then as an incentive, hey, you know, if you raise, like, X amount of dollars, you would actually go for the good ending and have to do the Annabella and Katarina fight, because the, the choice is right at the end, right? And you have that whole walk back from Ladakh back to the manor to actually get to the choice that, uh, you know, the host can definitely go ahead and hype it up. Which, don't get me wrong, uh, it's not necessarily something um, that should be reflected by the boards. You know, if nobody runs that category, then what's the point in having it? But uh, it's a nice thing to have, I think. It's at least where my thought process comes from in keeping that in. Then again, I guess... I guess you could make... Um, an argument that let, let's say you're on world record pace right uh you're on world record pace for bad ending and then somebody or you know the voters make you do actually go good ending and that is why you lose world record as soon as you make that choice and because bad ending doesn't have a fight afterwards <clears throat> i guess you could still verify it as a bad ending choice because you made it to that choice but uh that, that is like getting deep into the technicalities how and when you verify it runs, so, yeah. Any ending, true ending. <laughs> Interesting one. <coughs> oh, God, excuse me. <clears throat> I got cookie in my throat. <clears> throat. Not in the throat where it's supposed to go, though. But yeah, true ending is, um... <clears throat> more complicated because you have to do like three of the NPC quest lines I think and you have to fight two more bosses uh, the Harbinger of Nightmare and um, <clears throat> what's it called? The Shadow of Illigarth 
I can't remember. Uh, you know, the, the one on the moon shadow, like, like the big, the one that looks like Edwin, but is frost instead of dark. Uh, for true ending, you need to get Esk's left and right eyes. <clears throat> that is the two items that you need. Um, because if you get those, you can then see the true final boss, so to speak. But in order to get the eyes, you need a couple more items. And both eyes are also guarded by a boss. Like, separately. So what you have to do is uh, you have to get the mechanical gloves for Mariano, which you need anyway for the wall jump. And with the wall jump, you can get the goggles in Federal Inquisition. So you can see through these ghost doors. Um, then you have to get uh, Lady Annika in Mithringal. Get her back to the manor. Talk to her. Then you have to go to the mask dealer in Erlem talk to them go back to Annika tell <coughs> tell her about it right there. <coughs> fucking cookie um which resolves Annika's quest line and if you then go back to the mass dealer in Erlem they will sell you the second skin which costs 10,000 Nycrux and lets you talk to talk to dead people <coughs> now once you have that you go to Talvanil village and there's a secret passage that warps you back into Esk's manor, where you can then talk to, I think it's Esk, you know, the ghost lady. And once you've talked to the ghost lady, you can then finally start hunting for the eyes. Uh, one is in Esk's manor, actually. But you need the double jump ability for that, so you can only do that after you've been to Odin's Regnant's palace, so at the end of the game, basically. So you fight the Harbinger of Nightmare in Esk's manor, you get the left eye, I think. And uh, then you go to Moonshadow Lake, at the uh, lowest point of the ice caves in Osseus. You fight the boss there, then you can grab the right eye, and then you have both eyes, and then, you know, you get make your way to the end of the game again. Um, refuse the throne, kill Annabella and Katarina, and then you fight the final boss. The true final boss. So that probably, compared to the band ending, at, I want to say at least 15 to 20 minutes. Because, you know, you have to grab all that extra shit. You have to do Lady Annika's quest line. You have to fight two more bosses. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. That's a meaty difference, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> uh, I, I see no way where it would be feasible to throw that ending together with either the good or the bad ending because it's just so much more effort. I mean, if you're interested, um, on my YouTube channel, I actually have a short video showing you what you have to do for uh, the true ending. It's abbreviated though, like I d don't have the full boss fights in there. But it shows you like where you have to go and what you have to grab in order to get it. And even the abbreviated version is only like eight minutes or so. Just showing where that stuff is. Yeah, exactly. Just leave it for now and see, you know, how the run picks up. <clears throat> I mean, so far I think I'm only, like the only active runner, but I know that you and... Um, God, I can't even remember the name right now. Jimmy. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Did you and Jimmy will probably do runs like later this week? Maybe next week at the latest? So there's at least three of us that's interested in running this. And uh, let's just see where it goes from there. Like I'm just basically running bad ending for now just to get a feel for the run. And also just waiting for, you know, tech to be found. Like the high jump that we have. Um, because that will obviously change things around a bit. And once that is, uh, you know, set in stone a little bit closer, we'll probably start going for good ending and then true ending and whatnot. Oh yeah, I've definitely thought about 100%. Like, I was actually thinking in the beginning, like, okay, is true ending just going for 100%? But, uh, nah. There was another meaty difference between that. 
because for 100% you would have to kill another two bosses, I think. I'm trying to think if it's one or two. I know of at least one more boss that you would have to kill for 100%. But there might be a second one that I'm forgetting about right now. I'm not sure right now. But also 100% would um, entail, you know, getting all the items, like all the weapons. Um, and getting two of the weapons, the two katanas, adds like about 10 minutes each for one of them. So that's like 20 minutes plus the boss fight, let's say 25. And that's only those two weapons, right? That's all the other weapons. So compared to true ending, 100% probably adds like another half hour at least. So you are slowly starting looking at a run that is between three and four hours. <laughs> Again, you know, it's just spitballing what I think the time will be. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, with optimal routing and, you know, making multiple things at once because they're on the way, the time might come down, but there's just so much running around. <laughs> and I guess 100% uh, would also entail doing all of the side quests and stuff. I mean, obviously. So, yeah. Huh. There's a lot to unpack in this game. That makes it run around 100%. <laughs> I mean, on the on the flip side, 100% is probably also going to be like the quote-unquote easiest category because you gain a lot more power and you also gain the actual good weapons. Because while the great sword or great blade is kind of nice, I don't think it's a very, like, uh, good weapon. Or it's just too slow for my tastes. You know, every swing just takes so freaking long to come out. I'm just clamoring to get the Rift of Blood and just be done with all that stuff. Because you can get the Rift of Blood, which I think is the best weapon in the game, in like half an hour, one and a half hours into the game. It's like basically as soon as we go to Osseus uh, Fortress, we would be able to get that. Which is, uh, let's see, so basically after Ask's Manor. Uh, yeah. So, eh. I mean, you can get to Osseus Fortress, you know, like in an hour or so, but you also have to grab the weapon, which will take a little while, so, I don't know. One hour, ten minutes or something like that. And they would have it for the rest of the run, which would be good. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Max stats, nah. Uh-uh. 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 No way. Like, I don't even know what the max uh, stat for any of them is. I would guess it's probably like 99 or something. Well, let me tell you. Uh, I want... I have a save file. Oh, I can actually just go ahead and show you that. All right. Because for shits and giggles... And to test some things out, I grinded to level 176, which made it that I have 25 vitality and 50, 50, you know, which is like half maximum amount, potentially. We don't know that yet. Um, and all the other stats. And uh, that already took like five hours or so to do. And uh, it just gets worse, <laughs> obviously. It just gets worse from there. So, nah. I don't want to hear anything about that. Yeah, I can see. Ugh. Not worth it. Yeah. I mean, it takes me like 40,000 to get a single level up at this point. And I need about four minutes, or let's say I can get about 10,000 per minute. 
So that's four minutes per level up. Now that it will only get steeper the higher level goes. And uh, I would probably need another 50 or so in every in every stat. And I was like, nah. Oh, no. Not worth it. I'm not going to do that. True 100% can go fuck itself. <laughs> Literally. All right. Anyway, guys. Um, That's it for today. That was our two runs. Again, a bit sad about the second one, but at least the first one was pretty good. Um, well, that's that. That do be that. So, uh, let's find a raid target. Send you guys over to. Um, who do we have? Uh, uh, who is doing something fun? Hey, we have Viper. Let's go ahead and raid, uh, raid Viper. He's a good guy. He's a fellow speedrunner friend. He focuses on mainly racing games. And uh, I guess he's doing a speedrun of Test Drive Unlimited. Can't say I've heard about that game, but then again, I'm not a big uh, racing gamer myself. So uh, what do I know? But yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I will be back tomorrow with uh, more of The Last Faith. So let's see if we can finally break that uh, two-hour barrier. And get a sub two hour on because it's definitely in the cards. We can definitely do that. Just, you know, stop dying. <laughs> Alright, guys. Say hi to Viper for me, and I'll see you soon. Until then. Bye bye.